Hi everyone, Pierre from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to another River Fly Fishing tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be sharing some tips and techniques on how to approach a river in more detail so that you can catch trout more successfully. We will be looking at a specific fishing scenario and what you should do and what you shouldn't do in order for you to successfully catch trout. Throughout this video we'll be fishing the Snowbee Prestige GXS 10 foot 28 and the Moonshine Epiphany 10 foot 4 inch 28 just putting them through their paces and hopefully hooking into some fish. So we worked a couple of great looking pools. Um, I've managed to screw up and miss a couple of nice fish. Now coming up the river, we found this perfect little pool that's absolutely perfect for trout. And I just want to show you before we go and fish it, how to first approach that pool. And then we can go through the specifics of how to fish it and hopefully catch a fish. So follow me and then we'll see how to approach the, the whole fishing scenario first. Okay, so the first thing is, if the fish are holding somewhere, they'll be here in the tail of this pool or in the head up there. The biggest mistake that we can make is to fish the head from here. The reason for that is, is that there's so many microcurrents that'll create drag, which will obviously give us a very poor drift and then we won't catch a fish. So in planning on fishing that head section, I want us to move a little bit closer so that we can lift the line out of the air so we can get a drag free drift. Okay, great. So now we're in a prime position to start fishing this pool. What I want to show you is a couple of mistakes that you probably would make the first time if you're a beginner in how to fish this pool. So let me show you that with a couple of casts. So the first would be if you deliver the cast, and you manage to get your line stuck into this very fast current. That will create immediate drag on your fly as it lands. So this would be it. And then as the fly lands, my fly line or my leader falls into that fast water and there's incredible drag on that, on that fly. There's no chance that a fish will take that fly now. So what we need to do is as we make the cast, stop a little bit higher. And then as the fly lands on the water, keep your rod in the air creating a straight line between the rod's tip and the fly. Now you'll have a drag-free drift and you'll also be in more direct contact with your fly so that as soon as there's a take you can sit immediately. Luckily for us, rainbow trout in particular are quite predictable. So if I was to make one cast in a specific area, I would most probably go into that head section. There's a good chance that the fish will hold there, either to the left or to the right of that fast current zone and on that seam is generally where the fish eat. So let's see if he's there and if we can get him into the net. Yes, please! So here's the result of our good drift. So it just shows you the fish hold, especially trout hold, in, in very specific places and as soon as you get your drift right and you get no drag, there's a very good chance that you'll catch the fish. So this is our result. Beautiful little rainbow caught here in the Western Cape. And he took the nymph in this case. So there he is. And there you see it was a textbook sort of lie for the fish. They hold exactly where we expect them to hold. And that's the cool thing about trout. Uh, and then if, when you get your drift right and you get a drag free drift, there's a very good chance that you'll catch your fish. So, yeah, just a textbook little trout. I'm so stoked with that. So let's release him, which is probably the best part of catching the fish. And let's go and look for another one. I hope that you found this video helpful and that it gets you more fish in the net. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications, then we can let you know as soon as we release any future vlogs, tutorials or reviews. Until next time, cheers.